subscribe to this channel. Hi, I'm Lisa Mpaya from Mongo Zambia and you're listening to Underestimated Voices Podcast. Welcome to the Underestimated Voices Podcast, where we amplify the voices of those that have been overlooked and underestimated. Join us as we share their inspiring stories and shed light on the issues that matter most. It's time to give these voices the platform they deserve. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to listen to another episode on the Underestimated Voices podcast. I am your host, Watson, and in today's episode, we are going to look at finding authenticity. You know, we live in a world where everyone just wants to be validated in things that they do. And to talk more about this, I have a guest and she's going to share on her journey that she embarked on to find her authenticity in a world where many seek validation from others. With her unique perspectives and inspiring story, she will guide us through the path of self-discovery and remind us the power of embracing our true selves. So get ready to be captivated by her insights and wisdom as we look into the quest of finding authenticity in a validation-driven world. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to William Sonda. Say hi. Greetings. My name is William Sonda from Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's dive into this conversation as we look at finding authenticity. Okay. How can individuals cultivate a sense of self-worth and validation from within? Then depending on um, external factors, because I know there are people that love to follow crowds. Wherever a crowd will go, they want to be there. First of all, cultivating self-worth and validation from within Uh requires a journey of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-love. What I mean by that is um, you reflect on yourself, self-reflection. First of all, you need to explore your values, beliefs, passions, understand what makes you unique as a person, what you stand for as a person. So reflect on yourself. You can focus on inner strength. Okay, set your inner strengths rather than seeking external validation. That is what I focus on because nobody is going to take that away from me. So anytime I achieve something, I celebrate that. There's more achievement no matter how small it is. So that gives me positivity, me as a person. I don't need anyone to celebrate what I've done. People cannot, they don't know what you've gone through to achieve what you have achieved. So always celebrate the small uh, achievements that you have achieved in your life. Set personal goals as well. So work towards personal growth and development and recognize your progress. Stop moving with the crowd. Move at your own pace, okay? Uh I used to be that person who used to move with the crowd. You want to, to catch up with everyone to see what everyone is doing and who is beating you at this. That one does not work well because we have different goals and targets in life. Other people, it's there and then they achieve something. For others, we have to work extra hard. So when you learn that every person has got a time, we have got a time when we are going to achieve a certain thing as long as we are working extra hard and you are doing the correct thing. True that. Just set your personal goals. That's a guideline. When you set those goals, you make sure you work towards those goals. Definitely at some point, no matter how long it's going to take, you definitely achieve those goals. You know, for example, like if you're to have Amzam. Yes. We are in this generation where most people place high value on external validation than internal validation. What ways have helped you to stay true to yourself and your values? Uh, The generation that we are living in now, we always want somebody to validate us from outside. This is the generation that we are in right now. But you can be unique. Mm -hmm. First of all, you set your boundaries. Okay? Set your boundaries. 
learn to say no to things you know it doesn't mean when somebody asks you for something that doesn't align with your values when you say no meaning you're a bad person no say no to things that don't align with your values or goals and prioritize your need okay prioritize you as a person so when you prioritize you as a person you see that other things it will be easier to love others it will be easier to do positive things out there okay as long as you know that this does not align with my values just say no to it it's not going to hurt anybody as long as you are doing the correct thing establish a clear sense of what matters most to you and use the values as a guiding force okay regularly reflect on your thoughts feelings and actions to ensure they align with your values so when you set such goals you see that your life will be moving at a positive uh, pace so stay true to yourself and your values okay okay so from like what you said what are some common challenges have you faced when it comes to seeking external validation in your professional life okay should i say relationships <laughs> yes okay relationships and self worth and how did you overcome these challenges so most of the uh, challenges that i faced as a, me as a person in my professional uh, life and personally is back then always wanted to seek recognition from others you know like i said this is a budget a point always recognize your small achievement for example at work you work extra hard and you want other people to recognize your work okay mm. to recognize your work but go to work do your job as long as you're doing the correct thing no cough and go home mm. comparing yourself to your colleague that one is doing what this one is doing what it's not going to help it's going to frustrate you in a place of work true that it used to do that to me good works are always recognized mm. no matter what so as long as you're doing the correct thing your works will be recognized by someone no matter what so go to work do your job don't always seek internal uh, external validation mm. and in other personal relationship where i always wanted to seek constant reassurance or affirmation from partners or friends you know you don't have to always seek reassurance from people just do the correct thing if you are in a friendship with somebody you are doing the right thing don't always be that person it frustrates you and it degrades you as a person yeah i can i can relate to that as well so just be you and do the correct thing whether at work and whether in a friendship or whether in a relationship so overcoming the need of external validation is a journey that requires patience like i said it requires patience to overcoming the external validation it requires kindness compassion towards you yourself love yourself first put self love true that so meaning you're not going to be seeking that external validation all the time oh yeah so what are some practical tips and advice for individuals who are struggling to find authenticity okay especially in this generation of ours where everyone thinks like social media life is something that you can bury your head into without even realizing that some certain things are fake shouldn't even stress yourself first of all you practice self reflection like i said embrace your uniqueness you embrace who you are there's no any other person here on earth like you but uh, i have a look alike mbanja tipalana so we look alike like of course that. there can be a look alike mm. somewhere in your family yes. but you are going to be you there's no going to be anybody like you whether you are a twin you've got an identical twin but you are going to have different personalities so embrace that as a person there's no other person like you the uniqueness in you you are not going to find it from anybody else okay mm. so the talents that you have you as a person you are not going to find it anywhere else Okay. okay so embrace your uniqueness celebrate what makes you different rather than trying to co- to conform to societal norms celebrate what is really unique about you so find friends yes. who do positive things who celebrate 
your achievements, people who give you good advice to grow as a person. So cut yourself from negative uh, friends, friendships or negative circles in your life. Try by all means to do that. So authenticity is also a journey, not a destination. Yeah, that's a valid point. Okay, so remember, it's a journey, not a destination. So we keep on learning every time. So from like what you said, how can an individual strike a balance between seeking feedback and validation from others while maintaining a strong sense of self and authenticity? So striking a balance uh, between seeking uh, feedback and validation from others requires self-awareness, intentional boundaries, and a growth mindset. When you're seated there alone, mm-hmm. Uh, be specific with yourself and ask yourself questions. Okay? Oh, okay? Me as a person, I can go out there and lie to people, but I can never lie to me. Okay? This is what I learned, me as a person. When I'm seated alone, I'm able to have a conversation with myself and I can never lie to me. So inside me, there are two voices. There's that voice always that tells you you were wrong, what you did there you were supposed to do this or you did hate your friend you were wrong to do that and that is that voice that tells you no it was just okay now i'm talking about to my voices tunes which one should i even listen to eh? because you might listen to a wrong one huh? so listen to that voice that mm. tells you to do the right thing listen to that voice mm. so ask yourself specific questions yes. Okay? okay, and encourage yourself. You are the best cheerleader of yourself before you even, uh, before you even seek external validation. You are the best cheerleader of yourself. You yourself can tell yourself the truth. Don't let people stumble on you all the time or get wrong information from people. Okay, so and always have a health mindset to compare yourself. Health comparisons. Let me say, so compare yourself to your own progress and growth rather than others. So in this era and generation which we live in of social media, you know, not everything was on social media is authentic. So don't always take what is on social media. You start comparing yourself just because that one bought a car, that one bought a house, this one did this, this one did this. You want to compare yourself to that. You are going to be lost. Always, always move at your own pace as long as you're doing the correct thing always move at your own pace okay so when you implement all these strategies as an individual you'll see that life is going to be better for you not to seek eternal external validation too much yes it's very good to ask question to ask questions when yourself your new friends are doing great you ask questions how did you do this and it's good also to take criticism from people yeah sensible criticism it's good it's very good criticism is part of growth negative comments are part of growth too but remember to learn what kind of comments are you going to take are, are these comments going to break you are these comments going to build you okay so always set a line what kind of comments are you going to get and criticism remember criticism is part of life and it's part of growth so it's just how you handle it. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our enlightening conversation with William Sonda, who has shared her remarkable journey towards finding authenticity amidst the constant desire of validation from others. We hope that her experience and words of wisdom have resonated with you, inspiring you to embark on your own path of self-discovery. Remember that authenticity is not a destination, but a journey. So the key to live a fulfilling life lies in embracing and celebrating your true self. Thank you for joining us today. And until next time, stay true to yourself and keep seeking authenticity in everything you do. As I always say, be you, do you, and mind your own business. It doesn't hurt. Nika first, even this will pass. May God bless you, and see you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to the Underestimated Voices podcast. Remember, 
The power of a voice can change the world. Keep listening, keep sharing, and keep amplifying those underestimated voices. Together, let's make a symphony of stories that resonate far and wide. Stay inspired, stay curious, and join us again next time for more incredible narratives. Until then, keep listening and let your voice be heard. This is the Underestimated Voices podcast, amplifying the underestimated, empowering the unheard.